So we are like, basically what is the meeting place for all the nationalist marchers. I've seen a few anti-Islam flags. There's a couple of guys here who look quite tasty. Hopefully won't concentrate on me too much at any point during the day because I can't imagine that will end well for me. I'm wearing a bib. They gave us these to kind of like make sure we're a bit safer and make sure no one like tries to batter us just because they think we're the left liberal media. It doesn't make me feel like totally safe. It doesn't make me feel like I've got a fucking suit of armor on. We're in Warsaw to attend the largest nationalist march in Europe. For the past five years, tens of thousands of people take to the streets once a year under the banner of patriotism. It generally descends into mass violence, hijacked by far-right football hooligans. But Poland has just elected a Eurosceptic right-wing government, which has long endorsed the march and is openly anti-refugee. I want to find out what effect this will have on a march that usually descends into anarchy. Nie chcemy agresji w imię Allaha, nie chcemy gwałtów, nie chcemy samosądów i nie chcemy terroru. Ewangelia, a nie Koran! As with any large-scale event, volunteers would be on hand to act as stewards at the march. Recruited by far-right youth organizations, I went to meet them at their Riverside training camp under a bridge. As soon as we got here, there were bangers going off as people praying what looked like tear gas. I can't tell whether it was a smoke grenade or tear gas, but there was a lot of guys crying afterwards as well. What are you hoping to get from the march? Pokażemy naszą siłę jako polskich patriotów, żeby nie dać się stłamsić tej lewicowej i marksistowskiej, lewicowemu marksistowskiemu trendowi, który w Europie jest w tej chwili dominujący. Who are you protecting with your operation? Zabezpieczamy samych uczestników marszu przed ewentualnymi nieodpowiedzialnymi działaniami policji. Rok do roku mamy takie sytuacje, że policja próbując pacyfikować pewne grupy, które bywają agresywne i ci ludzie muszą po prostu być zahartowani, jeśli chodzi właśnie o wybuchy, o dym, o gaz, a nie reagować, nie rozprasza go wtedy, nie rozpraszają go wybuchy granatów policyjnych i tego typu czynniki. I think they're preparing for the worst, but in the best way. They're kind of like enjoying themselves, they're having a bit of fun, camaraderie, they're having a laugh and a joke. There is a bit of a dark undercurrent here as well. They're marching for something that, you know, typically we see as quite unsavory, you know, anti-refugee sentiment, anti-immigrant sentiment. Um, so that's something that you always have to remember, even, even if it is just a bunch of lads having fun on a Saturday. We left the capital for Poland's third biggest city, Łódź. I was told a group of football hooligans who consider themselves to be on the front line of the fight for Polish nationalism lived there. Lower league team Witsev have become notorious for their battles with the police at the march. And I was interested to see how well behaved they'd be at a home game. After a fairly comprehensive win, I managed to grab one of the ultras for a chat about the upcoming march. Why is the march on Wednesday important for for football fans, for Poland, for ultras? No, co? No, przede wszystkim chcemy pokazać naszej władzy, tak, że interesujemy się tym, co się dzieje na świecie w Polsce, że interesują nas całe sprawy Polski, że jeśli nam się nie będzie podobało, to nie będziemy bali się wyrazić swojego sprzeciwu, tak? Tego to cała Europa islamu. So far, I hadn't seen any evidence of a caliphate being established in Łódź, but the fear of Islam made more sense when I looked into what was coming out of the mouths of Poland's government officials. Najpierw liczba cudzoziemców gwałtownie się zwiększa, później nie przestrzegają oni, nie chcą przestrzegać, deklarują, że nie będą przestrzegać naszego prawa, naszych obyczajów, a później albo i równolegle narzucają 
swoją wrażliwość i swoje wymogi w przestrzeni publicznej w różnych dziedzinach życia. I to w sposób bardzo agresywny i gwałtowny. Away from the terraces, I wanted to get a feel for life in the town. We're in a square in the center of Wuj. It's a horrible day, it's freezing. You can definitely feel a sense of painful poverty. It's a place that's got charm and everything, but it's not really surviving very well, I don't think. One of the ultras offered to take us on a tour of his area, but for fear of being arrested, didn't want his face to be shown. Cześć, cześć. Jest to najbardziej niebezpieczny rejon Łodzi. Tutaj, gdzie się znajdujemy, są tylko kibice Widzewa. Tu jest, są najbardziej fanatyczni, najmoc, najmocniejsza. Is this a tough place to live, like to grow up in? Na pewno tutaj, wycho ja, jeżeli się tutaj wychowujesz, to na pewno szybciej dorastasz. Szybciej odczuwasz prawdziwe życie i wiesz, co to po prostu znaczy. While Poland is generally considered to have weathered the global financial crisis quite well, and Wuj's unemployment rate is a pretty average 12%, it was clear that the area was experiencing a desolate hardship. Nothing much going on to entice some of these young men away from violence and nationalism. Tam na pewno, na pewno dwóch kibiców OKS idzie. Jakbym był z kolegą, to już by byli... Teraz idą? Tak, na pewno już by byli prani, no. Widzisz, jak się obracają. Why do you think it's important for ultras to have a sense of patriotism or nationalism? Takie mamy ideały, tak zostaliśmy wychowani. Taka jest nasza historia. Dla prawdziwego patrioty Polaka barwa biało-czerwona, flaga Polski jest święta. I zawsze będziemy o tą Polskę dbać i walczyć, aby takie osoby i to wszystko nie było zaprzepaszczone. Uh, right now we're in the basement of a kind of cul-de-sac of flats, which is actually where one of uh, the Ultra guys grew up. Someone came downstairs a moment ago and said, uh, what are you guys doing here? It fucking stinks. Uh, and one of the guys said, oh, we're making a banner for the march. And he's like, oh, it's for the march. Oh, that's cool. That's all right. So, yeah, you get the sense that the march is a real, it's a real big deal. The march is about national unity and everyone coming together for the, you know, the one idea of a, of a, of a powerful Poland, a unified Poland. But it's still important for these guys to have their, their local identity shown. They still want it to be known that they are from Łódź, they are Wicef fans, and um, they're not going to shy away from that. The next day we headed back to Warsaw. I was apprehensive at the prospect of 100,000 irate football fans champing at the bit to fight the police. Last year, chaos led to over 270 arrests. Maybe the Witsev fans would protect me if they could stay out of trouble for long enough. So we've just arrived here. These are the guys we saw train under the bridge. This is the fruit of all the work that they've been putting in. All the flashbangs going off, giving them, you know, mild tinnitus for a day. All the tear gas that they've probably been crying out. This is the prize they get. This is where it all, it all starts to make sense for them, I suppose. It's like a school trip, in a way. It's like a big day out at the Nationalist March, really. At the heart of Polish culture is the Catholic Church. So we went to pay our respects to God for his contribution to Polish independence and make sure he was on our side before the march. I've just left the Mass. It's very, very quiet out here. There's a line of guys over there. Apparently they're like more hardcore nationalists. So they're standing in a line of uh, maybe even protection. Everyone in there has either a Polish flag or a Polish armband. Um, I kind of feel like armbands have been ruined by the Nazis. I don't think anyone can really wear an armband with uh, any sort of nationalist connotation without it looking a bit dodgy. In the beginning, the priest was, you know, thanking the biker gangs for coming. He was thanking, like, um, all these nationalist organizations for attending. It was a very pro-nationalist introduction. This is not just a normal mass. This is a mass dedicated for this march, this show of nationalist pride, this show of strength and unity in Poland. Yeah, so Vitev are here. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> You can see behind me, they're setting up for a group photo. The banner that our contact made in the basement of that flat is now being unfurled. Uh, looks pretty good. 
and I've all got hats, bags, and scarves, there's so many accessories for, <laughs> for Vitev. Ten to two, the march has now started officially. You know, people are in high spirits, people throwing bangers everywhere. Got mild deafness from one of them. Speaking to some people in the crowd, it didn't take long to gauge the predominant thrust of what they were marching for. Marki mnie bardzo imigracja, dlatego że nasz kraj nie jest przygotowany do tego. Powinny być bardziej inwigilowane, sprawdzane i nadzorowane przez cały ten czas, tak? Powiedzmy przez 2-3 lata powinny nosić opaski, bo nie wiemy kto to jest. Now we've reached the end of the march, we're in the shadow of the national stadium. Polish flags, as far as the eye can see. Nie chcemy agresji w imię Allaha, nie chcemy gwałtów, nie chcemy samosądów i nie chcemy terroru. Ewangelia, a nie Koran! Every single year, the nationalists have had bloody clashes with the police. But this year, it was different. There wasn't even a whiff of a punch or a bottle being thrown. But why? How did the march go today for Vitev? Na marszu nam się podobało. Widzewa ponad 400 osób, może nawet więcej. Marsz przebiegał spokojnie, w fajnej atmosferze. Dzisiejszym ta policja była mniej widoczna niż w poprzednich latach i nie było prowokacji ze strony policji. Myślę, że w dużej mierze może mieć to znaczenie to, że, że platforma obywatelska została odsunięta od władzy. What are you gonna do when you get home now? Myślę, że coś zjem. Postaram się gdzieś odnaleźć jakieś bramki widzę was z dnia dzisiejszego i pójdę spać do wszystko. What in previous years has been a protest now looked like a victory parade for Polish nationalists. Before the march, I was apprehensive about the extreme violence of previous years, but I came away with an all the more frightening vision of Poland's now cemented lurch to the right. <laughs>